The genie and his magic. Flying carpets. Mirage the mini boss. Funny Easter eggs. Fight the old friend. Let us see what we are going to face in the second stage of Hammerhold campaign. It is the Sape Oasis. And we have Mirage here, as a mini boss. Here comes the first wave of enemies. We have seen this oasis before in Kingdom Rush Frontiers. This time, we are seeing another side of the oasis. There is an Easter egg in the right bottom corner. We can find a flying carpet there stuck on a box, and on touching it few times, it will get free, and will disappear. Here comes another wave, and you mark my words, this campaign is tougher than most other campaigns I have played so far. The enemies may look silly, but they are strong, fast, and can give us a really bad time. If you play this in veteran or impossible mode, you will understand what I am saying. That's Mirage again. I think she is calling reinforcements. It looks like she has some kind of horn in her hand, which can bring new units when she make the sound. And these new enemies are faster and can do ranged attack. I think we have to upgrade the elite harassers as soon as possible to deal with these guys. Here comes the falconers. I like these enemies. They are quite unique, and their falcons are really a headache. If there are four or five of them, they can destroy the barracks or the hero within few seconds. Wow, that's a new enemy. Someone is coming on a flying carpet from the right bottom corner. I think they are magicians, and I think soon we will encounter the genies. I have seen Mirage calling genies in the trailer. Oh my god. These new units on the flying carpet is kind of non-stop. There are so many of them, and they are doing ranged magic attack. I think we need some shadow archers to deal with these guys. They will be the best option against these flying units. And it looks like, Oluk is one of the best hero option for this level. We can use his Seal of Isolation ability to group the weaker enemies together, and then use the Soul Impact. When we attack a big group, there is a good chance that the Soul Impact will reload immediately. I don't really know what I would do without the Seal of Isolation and Soul Impact in this level with the big group of small enemies. These camel riders may look silly in the video, but when you play it in veteran mode, you will realize they are a big problem. They are quite fast, and can do reasonably high damage to our units. Also, their health is slightly high compared to the other enemies. That's Mirage again. I think she will bring more reinforcement this time. Wow, it's the genie this time. I really miss the genies since Kingdom Rush Frontiers. What? I think the genie is a combination of Nazeru and the genie tower from Frontiers. He can freeze our tower just like Nazeru, and he is also flipping his fingers. Then he can also turn our units into goats using his magic. I always wanted the genie as a hero. You don't think it will be cool to have a genie hero? Let me know your view in comments. There comes another genie, and I think this time, he can give us a bigger problem as a big wave of enemies are approaching from the other side. If the genie will turn our troops into goats and birds and freeze the towers, the small enemies will proceed to the gate without much problem. You see the chaos created by the genie? I am glad. We managed to get rid of him quickly, thanks to the elite harassers. It's time for another soul impact. This level has some extra birds apart from the falcons. I really think I have to build couple of archer towers. This is a big wave of enemies. 
I think we have to group them and use the soul impacts before they proceed to the gate and destroy our units. Mirage is here again, and soon she will bring her reinforcements. Swift as a coursing river. Too slow. Bow and blade. I like these ostriches created by the genie. They are kind of cute. What do you think? Look at the amount of damage created by the genie. He is turning the battlefield into a safari. There are more goats and ostriches in the field now. The magicians are back. Now, them with genie could be a bad combination for us. I think it's time to build more towers. Swift as a coursing river. I badly need the insta-kill ability of the Shadow Archer now. I have to upgrade this tower as fast as possible, so that the Shadow Archer will take care of the genie and the magicians. That's time for the Blade of Demise. Now, the Shadow Archer will do some insta-kill, and that will solve some of the problems. This is what I am talking about. Here comes the combination of enemies I was worried about. The magicians with the genie, but I am prepared for them with couple of archers and the blade of demise. Did you see how the archer got rid of the genie in one second? That's the power of insta-kill ability. Now, the game is kind of under control, before the enemies had a small upper hand, but now, we have it, thanks to the archers and harassers. I'm going to build one more archer tower replacing the bone flingers, that means we will have three towers with insta-kill ability, I'm just getting ready for the mini boss mirage, I think in some time she will come, and I want these towers to destroy her allies, so that the harassers can aim mirage. This genie is creating some problems now. I'm waiting for the archers to destroy him. Bow and blade. Toasty. Okay, so this is the time for the mini boss. Mirage is here. Let's see what she can do to these soldiers of Vesnan. I would be glad if she can do better than Illyria. Wow, she is bringing a lot of reinforcements. Swift as a coursing river. Definitely, she is stronger than Illyria, a lot more strong, and she is bringing really a lot of allies. I think I should have built some towers which can do area damage, but I believe in the ability of harassers. We have destroyed most of her allies, and soon we will fight her. This is it. We all know the harassers are going to destroy her within few seconds. Let's see how long she can fight them, and the orcs are also ready for a fight. Harassers. Time for Rain of Arrows. That's it. That was the end of Mirage. I have to say, she did a good fight. Please let me know your view on the gameplay and the strategies. And thank you for watching.